I don't know how it goes in your household, but I know in ours, our kids like to leave the lights on pretty much everywhere they go, whether it's the bathroom, the bedroom, the hallway. Now, the hallway is the number one culprit. I'll wake up in the middle of the night, and that hallway light is on full blast. Why do you need that on? There's a nightlight. You're sleeping. That makes no sense. If I had that light on in the middle of the night and I was trying to sleep, I don't think I could sleep. So what can you do? Yeah, you can get a dimmer switch. You can wake up in the middle of the night, just shut it off, yell at them, I guess. Or you can go and get one of those occupancy sensors switches too. But I thought about that. Yes, I could do that, but I wanted to go a little bit smarter than that. So right here, this is the Cassetta wireless switch set from Lutron. And this is something where you can expand. It's smart. It, this version comes with a smart bridge, so that's going to control everything. You can download an app. Now, I will say the app is really straightforward and easy to use. They offer tons of different integrations to use it with other devices, so you can control the smart hub and different smart products with it. And you'll see you can select so many different devices. Here's an example of some of the light on and off settings that I have with my setup. As far as the center goes, the little wireless Pico device, as well as the main lights, I really control everything within this app and it is really easy to use. Now, typically in hallways, uh, you have one at the bottom of the steps and then one at the top, so it's typically a three-way. You could set it up for a single pole or a three-way switch. Now they offer a lot of really great helpful videos as well as some uh, documentation for single pole setups. And I was like, this is pretty good. The three-way, I was kind of concerned, but I watched the video. It's not long at all. I have it up in the background. It's only a few minutes, and I was like, oh, sweet. Easy to do. So it includes a smart bridge. You can download an app, control it, and then it has that remote right there, as well as the main dimmer switch. Cool thing about this is you can expand it to work with a lot of different other switches and different products within that Cassetta wireless setup from Lutron. Let me show you what we have here. So this is ultimately the switch that we're going to be working with. It's just a normal single gang plate. Now you can set up multiple gangs if you have to. You have three wires coming down the back. Now, if you watch the video, you'll see how this is hooked up. So that plate is pretty cool. Right on here, we have our different levels as far as our dimming levels on off. And you're like, well, hey, that plate looks kind of weird. Don't worry about it. We have a plate that's going to sit on top of that and click into place. Here is the smart bridge. On the back, we have an RJ45 jack. It does come with a short RJ45 cable, a USB-C, and there is a plus button. I'm guessing that's power, I would think. So that can uh, plug right into if you have a router set up, you can do that easily. Also includes a little power adapter. Right here, it actually includes some additional wire nuts. It looks like there's some longer screws in there. So if you need a longer screw plate, anything like that, you're good to go. And then here's the other plate. So this is pretty interesting. What you're gonna do is on the second one. So like upstairs where it's not gonna be hooked up, what you're gonna wanna do is you can either take the tape off of this, stick it to the wall, and then you're going to be good to go to control it from upstairs or downstairs. The downstairs one is the one that's actually wired. And this one communicates through the smart hub to that. Or you can go into that electrical box, that light switch that's upstairs, and pretty much disconnect the switch and terminate all those using these and then push those wires back. So essentially that switch is dead and this switch is going to be the main switch that controls the one downstairs. If that makes sense. So you're going to get the same setup. But this is pretty cool. Yes, it's a dimmer. Very nice setup. I can put this anywhere I want in the hallway. So if you don't ultimately like where that light switch is in the hallway, if it doesn't work for you, then you can set it up somewhere else and it's going to still communicate with the one downstairs, which is really cool. So right here is one of the additional components that you can purchase from Lutron that will work with this smart Cassetta system. And this is a motion sensor. So it looks a lot like an alarm motion sensor. This is completely wireless, so you don't have to wire anything. There is a battery in the back there, which it does come with the battery and the how-to guide. And then you can mount this on the wall. But not only is this going to communicate with the app so I can turn off the light, maybe I can set it to turn off whenever I want at 11 p.m., but this will also act as a motion or occupancy sensor 
and I can set it somewhere in that hallway to say, hey, if there's no one there, then guess what? It's going to go off. So using all these different pieces, I can set it up to be an occupancy sensor. I think this is going to work really well, and I like being able to control it because maybe I just want to say, guess what? Lights out. Shut it down, kids. So I have all the pieces. We look ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and wire this up. I just removed the old switch. It should be pretty straightforward if you're concerned about doing this. You can always call an electrician to do this. My biggest thing is make sure you turn the power off to that because you don't want a shock. And then you can go ahead and wire it up. We'll put the wire nuts on, put it back in place, set up the smart hub, and we're going to see how it goes. So first thing I did was turn all the power off to these switches and then took off the original light switch and then got ready to install the new one here. So just wired it up like they said, use some wire nuts as well as some of these quick connects, which I really like that you see here. And then we're all set and ready to go. So once I got the sensor all set up here, I installed it on the wall. And now this provides a really good pickup between both doors from left to right as well as the rest of the hallway. And it also picks up as someone comes up towards the top of the stairs to set off the lights. Now, again, this was easy to install. I used with the two screws going into the corner. If you want, you could use it with the double-sided tape, depending on where you install it. At first, I wanted to install it up top. While that may work, they recommend that it's lower down between waist height, and I have this around chest height, so between waist and chest seems to work really, really well. Now, as far as the other switches go that are in the hallway, a lot of times people have two switches, one downstairs, one upstairs. Well, we have four switches. So I was not about to go and disconnect everything. And of course, you know, putting tape on it is pretty ugly. So what I did, I just found these online and they are just toggle preventers and they sit over the switch so nobody can touch them because I couldn't figure out at first why it wasn't working because someone kept switching one of these other switches besides the one that I disconnected. So having this here, I don't have to worry about it. The sensors all work perfectly. Um, so that sensor right there works fine. And then the remote sensor here works great, as well as the one that's installed in the wall downstairs. And obviously nothing's disconnected in the switch itself, so I don't really have to worry about either at some point if I want to switch back or whatever, everything's wired and I just take these plates off and swap out the one downstairs and we're good to go. So overall, I'm really happy with the usability and setup from the Lutron Cassetta wireless system. It was really easy to install. If you're not comfortable installing, you can always get an electrician to put it in. But for me, it was really easy to set up and install. The app is really easy to use. You can set like 70 plus devices to run on that hub. Now we are using it, as you know, with an occupancy sensor, but they also have a vacancy sensor, which means that if someone leaves a room, it shuts off. And if they come back in, it doesn't go back on. So just keep that in mind, depending on what you want it to do to make sure you get the right sensor. Now, some people say this system is a little bit more on the pricey side compared to just a sensor that you can install in a switch. Yes, it is. But I think the quality of the product is really good. And having the uh, having the app as well as the ability to add all these different devices and integrations into it really sets it apart and you know makes it worth that upgrade and I'm looking forward to adding more devices because look right behind me oh now the bathroom light is on these lights are only on because I turned them on but the kids left the bathroom light on so I think we're going to need some more sensors and smart switches installed that are going to run through this system now, I also really do love the app because I can always mess with the kids too. Just like the other night, they turned the lights up all the way. I went to the app and turned it back off and said, good night. 